Thanks, Steph. Well, it is hot outside. The last thing we want to do is slave over a hot stove. Have no fear, friends. Marilyn Smith is spilling the beans on BT this morning with simple and cost-cutting bean recipes to keep you cool in the kitchen and also easy on your wallet. Good morning, sweet Merit. So good to see you. How are you? Oh, I'm so great because I'm here talking to you. I just miss you guys so much. Hi. We miss you too. We miss you too. I know okay. everybody at home is loving this. So let's get to it because these are nutritious and economical when it comes to fiber and protein. You're right. I mean, I, I'm not a, a vegetarian or a vegan. I'm an inclusive eater, but about 80% of my diet is, is plant-based. So I get a lot of my protein from pulses. Um, in uh, Peace, Love, and Fiber, that amazing book that I wrote, the reason that beans are so good for fiber is that they help colonate and cultivate the good bacteria in your gut, and that's going to support your immune system, and we're all looking to support our immune system right now. And, man, um, you do got, such yeah. a great job. I know you have the, the, the gut in the, the colon of a 25-year-old. <laughs> Okay. I, I listen. I've been told I have the most beautiful colon three different doctors have ever seen. So yes, thank you. Yes, hello. Okay. Call the mayor's <laughs> colon. So how do we get that? <laughs> okay. Well, um, you know, I think when people think of a bean salad, they they just think you know like just beans in a bowl. Well, you know, I've got a recipe for a chickpea curry salad that's on my IGTV. If you go to uh, my Instagram, I actually show you how to make it. Love but it. most main course bean salads are beans with a whole bunch of bells and whistles, and they all have like the same kind of elements in them okay so dina the, what, what do you think the three best beans to make a bean salad or, or, or tell me what you think they are salt no oil. the beans no oh. the beans what, what kind of beans <laughs> this is going well what kind of beans make the best bean salad i like yeah. a good kidney bean Okay, yeah, so a white cannellini nice. or a black bean or a chickpea are my favorite three go-tos. And one of my professional home economist tips is to leave a can of unopened beans in your fridge so when you go to make the salad, it's already cold and you can eat in about 10 minutes. Mm. That's a great tip. Okay, but then they all have these things in common. You're right. So they have oil. I either use extra virgin or a canola oil. Uh, they all have a vinegar. I really like uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother. You want that yes. gucky stuff in the bottom, shake it it's really good for your gut. With the mama. Or they have, with the mama, okay. <laughs> or they have like acid, like a lemon or a lime. And they all have garlic and or onion. And so mm. those are kind of like the beginning how you build a salad. And then you can add flavors like Dijon mustard. This is one of my favorite, La Bamba. Do you know La Bamba? La, 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 La Bamba. La Bamba. It's a, it's an Italian antipasto spread. You just use a little bit and it really bangs it up. Or you can use fresh herbs. These are out of my garden, mint mm. and basil. And then vegetables. So when you open your fridge, now people, most of us are throwing 40% of our food away. Yeah. So when you open your fridge, you can make a bean salad by what you've got and let that fridge go. You know, here's an idea. So I had some leftover grilled corn in the fridge that we barbecued. And when I say we, I mean Scott, my husband barbecued it. And so I thought, Tex Mex. So I'm creating this salad with all these vegetables that I have it. I never went shopping for this because yeah. I wanted to be authentic. So we're going to start building this salad, all right? So I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil because I want the bang. You need about two to three tablespoons per can of beans. Yes. Um, and then I like to do equal amounts of vinegar. So I'm going to use, a lot of people don't do that. They use more oil than vinegar, but the vinegar is really important for your gut health. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to put a a ton of garlic in because garlic is so good for you. And remember that if you chop it up and let it oxidize, it's more bioavailable. So don't just chop it up and throw it in. You know what I'm talking about? My friend Marilyn Smith, and I've done it ever <laughs> since. You said leave yeah. it on the cutting board chop for 10 minutes. As it yeah. oxidizes, it releases more of the nutrients. Thanks, Mayor. I, I love that you listen to me. I'm you make my life so happy. Okay, so you're just going to whisk that up together. And then we're going to start layering. So I'm going to put green onion in because that screams mm. to me, Tex Max. Black beans rinsed and then drained, uh, they're cold. And then I had some zucchini, so I diced the zucchini oh, nice. up. Um, I'm going to add cilantro, raw, raw zucchini. zucchini. Okay. But if, if it was leftover and grilled, Dana, it would even have a different level of flavor. Mm -hmm. That would be fantastic, too. I love cilantro. A lot of people think it tastes like smelly socks. <laughs> I'm not one of them. <laughs> but that's your DNA. But we love cilantro, so I'm adding cilantro. I had some des uh, some diced leftover red pepper in the fridge that so I was going nice. to use in a, in a taco salad. But then I wanted to add some yellow, so that one was looking kind of good for the fridge. I'm adding tomato. And then the the real Tex Mexi is the grilled corn and like all right so now I didn't Even avocado. Chop it. Throw some avocado you, in there, Mayor. 
if I had an avocado, that would be fantastic, Dina. And, and that's it. And dinner's ready. So seriously, economical, good for you, heart healthy, gut friendly, um, you know, so what if you fart, it's okay, eat it with family and friends. That's what I'm saying. Be, the family that eats beans saying. and farts together has healthy hearts and colons together, Mayor. Okay, is, ducks everywhere. That's, now, that's your takeaway. I do want to say this, away. Mayor, you always what? inspire us on Instagram. You share so much, you write so beautifully, and you have this tradition where when we say, Mayor, go jump in a lake, you do it in the best <laughs> way. And you've gone viral again. I love this. You talk about body positivity, getting through the pandemic. How have you managed? What would you like to say to everybody at home? Because you always do connect so beautifully with everybody, with your gorgeous heart. No, oh, you're going to make me cry. Um, I love you. I think I love you too. I think what I've uh, found in during the pandemic is being grateful for the little things has even become more important. And so um, I have had so much fun hanging out with my husband and being in my garden. That's my sanctuary. Um, and just being thankful and, and, you know, being respectful and just living in the moment. And for Miss Type A, who was running around like a crazy person <laughs> for most of their life, this is a huge life lesson. Like I feel very different. And yeah. Dina, I feel calm. What the hell's that about? What is that all about? A Zen mayor? But listen, mayor, we love you so much. We love you calm. We love you spazzy. You wrote me saying you have humid hair. So do I. I had to put mine in a ponytail. We're twins for life. And mayor, life. you inspired me with this pun. We wanted to do a little something for you because we love you. I don't know if you can you see the screen. Can you see it? No, I can't. No, okay, I can't. Well, I can just we'll see play it, it back. Okay. It says Marilyn okay. dot dot dot. You yeah. are an amazing human.